The wait is over. The Playa Linda project is now complete. Have you ever wanted a mind-blowing way to engage your viewers for your short-form content? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I create this disappear effect in Final Cut Pro. Without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Headphones. That's step one. So excited to be back editing, doing some more breakdowns. Here I have my raw clip shooting an S-log. That's why it looks all washed out like that. Um, and there is my real estate agent. And we were making a short form video to promote this property. So this could be something that you could pitch to the real estate agent. And she actually thought it was a lot of fun. And I had fun making it too. So <coughs> in order to make this effect work, you had to film it correctly. And the way I did that was, I mean, you can see from this raw clip, what I basically did was I told her to follow me, walk towards me while I have the gimbal moving backwards, boom, boom, boom. And then whenever she got done speaking, I just said, stay there, pause, and then come right behind me. And then you would continue to walk back. So she would say her line, stop, make her get behind you, don't move, and then continue walking backwards. And you wanna walk back, a decent amount that way you that way you can speed ramp from this into the other property shots after you get it all filmed this is the clip that you're left with this is like the rock clip the wait is over the ply linda project is now complete then she just walks around and then you just keep going I think you could hear her chuckle a little bit in that one. Okay. Cool. <laughs> so, pretty simple. Nothing too crazy. But it's engaging and you can do it. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just going to bring some color in this clip because I just wanna give it some life. So that's, that's what it ended up looking like. This is the final project, but I'm gonna show you how I did that. So I'm just going to copy this color adjustment. I'll do color adjustments in another video. So there's my color adjustment. I'll just bring it over where she's talking, where she starts talking. Just right there. Then she gets done talking. Right about there. Like right when she's done, right there. That's when I stop. Boom cut there and then I could start when I and then I'm gonna go to the clip where I start walking backwards again right about there boom so so really you would have a clip that looks like this <laughs> so she she kind of just poof like disappears but it looks a little wonky so we're gonna do something a little bit different I wanted to have the transition up above it but there's no way you could do it so I just took a clip as you can see here I just took a clip and then turned the opacity all the way down to zero and then just had the transition on there that way because once you put it wherever you put it like you can't move it and if somebody know if, if somebody in, in the comment section if you know what I'm doing wrong here I would love I would love to know how to do that because like wherever you place it that's where it's at so you kind of have to get it right but I'll, I'll just I'll just use the same clip and then I'll show you how I did it originally All right, so we're not gonna have our transition here. We're gonna have a transition in this clip here. So what I ended up having to do was go here to our transitions. Type in glow. 
once more. Put it on there and then get rid of the one that you don't want. And then you can line it up kind of where it needs to be, right there. Boom. And the audio is kind of messed up on this, so I'm going to show that there. So the transition looks better. This is what we have so far. So yeah, the, the transition is just a little much. So I go through here and I just, it was just a lot of me going through these parameters and making sure that they're not super crazy. I gotta remember what I set these to. So if you wanna if you wanna copy these parameters right here, those are the ones that I used for that clip. That way there wasn't too see how there's not too much black bar going around. <laughs> I don't know how to say that black bars going around there, but it's just it's just not that it's not that bad. And then at that point you have the majority of the effect. And then what I what I like to do is like whenever I make her disappear, boom, disappear. And then I'll go ahead and cut the audio out of there. Disappear. And then I'll start the speed ramp right there. So I'll hit shift B and I'll speed it up 20 times. So it'll be disappear and zoom. Disappear and then hit them with the zoomies. And then I took another clip, this one here, which was an inside shot of the house. Please don't roast me for the this inside shot because I was having trouble exposing for the windows out there so they're kind of blowing out. But then you line up those two clips. So this clip, if I show here, there is there's a speed adjustment there. So if I open both of these, sped up, sped up, and you match them. And it flows very seamlessly into the next clip. Boom, so beautiful, right? And then it just goes black. So to make this flow even more seamlessly, I'm going to add some motion blur. Also, if you go to Ryan Nagel's YouTube channel, he has a free motion blur uh, adjustment layer that you can buy. Why not buy that, you know? Oh, it's, it's, it's free, so not necessarily buying it. But I'm just trying to help you guys out because free stuff is free stuff, man. All right, and then after you add the motion blur, you're pretty much done for the most part. You could stop here, but why stop here when you can make this even better? So what we're gonna do is we're going to grab some sound effects. So I have this sound effect that lagging a little bit okay i have this sound effect where it's like slaps you in the face it's like whoosh i'll play it for you real quick see there we go i'll trim that up and we'll just fade it out just like that so that's that slap in the face is going to be her disappearing that's going to be right here Probably turn it down a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. See how that just whoosh, makes it makes it way more impactful. What else did I add? I think I added a whoosh too. Um, if you want 
if you want all of my whoosh transitions, I think I got I downloaded them off of YouTube somewhere. <laughs> but um, if you want a list of all my sound effects packs, then I'll link it down below and you can get it for free. Everything's going to be for free because I'm just trying to give back to the community. Okay, and after some sound, like a couple sound effects, motion blur, color adjustments, um, that's pretty much how to do the effect. I mean, Ryan Nagel gives you all, all the tools you need, but this is how I create this disappear effect. And I use it for, I, I love the opportunity. Whenever people give me the opportunity to make this effect, I'll do it because it's just, it's so fun. When you're done with all that, you're left with this. The wait is over. The Playa Linda project is now complete. Boom. And that is how you complete this whole effect. If you like this tutorial and you want to see more tutorials like this, then I made a tutorial where I show you how to do the reverb echo effect with your audio, how to end a song anywhere and make it sound good. I did a video right here. Check that video out if you want to master your music audio. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Oh, like and subscribe. Thanks. <laughs>